when you're asleep. This continues the series about my mother, the relationship of the mother and daughter that I mentioned in the poem Trying On For Size. And it came maybe 10 years later when this same strong, energetic, very well-read mother became more frail and was beginning to lose her memory, which is very frightening for her and frightening for us. And I was minding her, had come to stay in the house with her for a few days. And for the first time, I became conscious of this inversion in the relationship, where the daughter becomes the carer, the parent. And it was a new experience for me and it's an experience I've gone on to write a lot about. And whenever I read these poems, they strike a chord with so many, so many daughters in particular, some sons too, but mostly daughters who find themselves in this particular relationship where you give back to the mother the, 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 exactly the same care that she gave to you, right up to saying, the same phrases and words, just as mothers say they find themselves saying the same thing, things that they hated their mother saying, they find themselves repeating to their own children. Well, when your mother is getting frail, you find yourself saying these things to her and you understand her as you never did before. So it's actually a funny poem because, again, I have to say we were blessed, my mother and I, in that we were always able to laugh and she had a tremendous sense of humor. And when my patience would be at its last thread, she would say something funny and charming. When you're asleep, I'm worn out with you. All day long, fetching and carrying, upstairs and downstairs, my back broken, picking up after you, forever under my feet, Upstairs, downstairs, your questions trailing me. Never quiet for two minutes together. How old were you the year that we went? Do you remember the time somebody said, wasn't it grand the first summer we saw? Were you born yet the last winter your father and I? Just let me tell you once more, I know I've told you already. I'm worn out with you. But for you, these are festival days, days you can talk all day long out loud for a change, morning to night, banqueting, because I'm here to listen. As the hours journey from one meal to another, I hear my voice give out an old litany. Eat up now, stop talking, your food will be cold. Mind the stairs, don't hurry, you'll fall. Fasten your buttons, put on your slippers, watch where you're going. Come on now, we're late. Wash yourself quickly, get into bed. It's all ours already. Pull up your covers. Yes, I leave the door open. At last, you're quiet. At last, it's over, all over again until tomorrow. And I'm too tired to kiss you or say good night. Free, I can go downstairs, read a book or watch television. I'm worn out with you. Last of all, I look in to see if you're sleeping, your head sunk in the pillows, so still and so small. When did it grow so small? I draw close, breath held to catch yours. And yes, there it is, softly, your mouth almost smiling, the cat curled at your shoulder. And I'm returned 30 years or more, when I would call out at night as you close the door to hold you there one moment longer. Do you love me still? I'd sing. And back came the same answer always. When you're asleep. <laughs>